Top 10. Best Sound Bass. Number 10. ZVOX Sound Bass 670. The ZVOX Sound Bass 670 replaces the 770 on this list, which had availability issues. The 670 is a worthy successor though, and an excellent, less expensive alternative to the pricey Sonos Play Bass. It earns this spot thanks to its excellent dialogue reproduction. ZVOX really put some time and effort into this, and we think that when the specialist dialogue mode is turned on, the sound of some of the best we've heard. And as we mentioned, it comes an excellent price. So why isn't it higher? We aren't wild about the surround sound presets, which you can't actually turn off, meaning you'll never get realistic stereo mode for music. That's a real problem if you want the sound bass to pull double duty as both an audio provider for movies, and for music. Number 9. Panasonic SCHTE80. You know, if there's one thing that would help this particular product category, it's naming consistency. Panasonic refer to their SCHTE80 as a sound forward because, well, actually, we don't know why. It's just their thing. It must be said, this is very much not the best model on the list. The sound quality suffers, we think, and despite putting out decent power and packing a built-in subwoofer, the audio is distinctly middle of the range. However, it certainly has its merits, it's not just the price, which we've seen dip below $200 in the past, but also the affinity has the small spaces. Number 8. Pile 3D. For many audio enthusiasts, Pile is synonymous with high-quality speakers with equally high prices. In recent years, the brand has virtually swept the lower price tiers of the A-slash-B industry with well-put-together, competitively priced products. Such seems to be the case with their 3D sound base as it is not easy to guess its $100 price by looking at its spec sheet. This sound base might not be the most elegant looking though, its plastic front with four front facing speakers and tweeters give it a less discreet appearance, with a slight cheap vibe. Still, the main design emphasis has gone into audio and connectivity features, and the 3D is bursting with good stuff. For starters, the overall wattage is estimated around 300 W which is pretty serious for a sound base. Much of that is reserved for the 5.25 woofer, positioned at the bottom. The power on tap is undeniable and, to help potential sympathetic vibrations, Pile have included a digital equalizer. There's a wealth of inputs too. Three pairs of analog ins should be enough for most, but you also get built-in FM radio, USB, a card reader, and last but not least, Bluetooth connectivity. Source selection is made easy by the included rather well thought out wireless remote. Number 7. Cambridge Audio TV 5V2. This is the second version of Cambridge Audio's TV5 sound base, and although it doesn't move from the place on this list held by its predecessor, we still think it's a very good option. Because it does what it's this high on the list many of the more expensive bars do, at a much more agreeable price. Compare it to the Canton DM55, which is a great sound base, but which doesn't offer nearly the bass response that this one does. The bass packs in some great features, including support for 24-bit slash 192 kHz audio, and apps enabled Bluetooth. There are two downward-firing subwoofers which deliver excellent bass, 
and the company's patented BMR speaker tech ensures that there is good clarity in the mids and highs. While we could have done with a slightly more fully featured EQ it's a minor point. The sound, build quality, intuitive remote and good pedigree means that this is a highly worthwhile purchase, even if you've never experienced the company before. This is a price range where features start to drop away, so it's heartening to see that that isn't really the case here. Number 6. Q Acoustics M2. HDMI connections are surprisingly rare in the world of sound basses, and HDMI arc is almost non-existent. Fortunately, the Q Acoustics M2 not only offers it, but is relatively affordable for most people. The HDMI performs well, and allows you to send sound from your TV to the M2 itself, which is useful if you have a smart TV that allows direct streaming. And the M2 is a solid base in its own right. The 2.1 speaker setup is virtually a blueprint for most sound bases currently on the market, but the Q Acoustics M2 have managed to stand out from the crowd with the inclusion of their BMR technology, capable of nearly 180 degree of dispersion. Many listeners try to position their sound base not only under a TV set, but within a cupboard shelf. For this reason, Q Acoustics have included equalization modes optimizing the unit for each of these scenarios. Let's not expect miracles, the presets might not suit your room at all, but the EQ can be easily accessed from M2's back, or from the included mini remote. As for source selection, this puppy is better equipped than most in this department. Number 5. Atlantic Technology 3.1 HSB if you're looking for the best example of a sound base that delivers surround sound, we strongly suggest taking a look at the Atlantic Technology 3.1 HSB. While it's certainly not going to trouble the traditional 5.1 and 7.1 systems, it does have that number on it, 3.1, which means that it packs a left, center, and right speaker along with an included woofer which has a genuine impact on the stereo spread of the sound. Note that we said woofer, not subwoofer. That's deliberate. A subwoofer is specifically designed to handle bass frequencies, while a straight woofer also dips a toe into the mids. Note that the 3.1 HSB is a passive bass, unique among those here. It's designed for direct connection to an AV receiver, so keep that in mind before you buy. So, why does Atlantic Technology not include one, and still manage to put point one in their product name? It's all because of their HPA technology, which turns a woofer into something that can really handle heavy bass frequencies. Number 4. Denon DHT-T110 the Denon DHT-T110 isn't all that different from many other models here. It has a similar weight rating, similar size, and even looks similar. So why would you go for this over other sound bases? Easy. You listen to music. Although the DHT-T110 can handle movies well, it comes alive with songs and albums, showing off its best. For under $300, we don't think you'll find a better soundbar to stream music on. Part of this is down to its superb bass, and its seriously good Bluetooth streaming capabilities. The codec, which is the software program that translates the ones and zeros, really does a good job of making sure that wireless streaming sounds solid. While the DHT-T110 is far from the best sound bass available it can't sniff the Sonos Play bass for overall sound quality its musical chops make it a solid choice. Number 3. Timo Labs Amoy 1. 
Sound basses under $100 can be quite hit or miss for quality, but the Timo Labs Amoy 1 is one of the best budget sound basses we've tested. It's an incredibly simple system to use, with sound that hits surprisingly hard for such a wallet-friendly model. Compared to other budget options on this list, like the Magnasonic SB41 or the Pile 3D, the Amoy 1 is easily the top pick here. If you want an excellent way to increase the punch and dynamism of your TV sound for a good price, then the Amoy 1 is worth looking at. The downside mostly has to do with volume. It's very hard to get a precise adjustment, the dial tends to deliver volume in huge jumps, and we found that distortion was common at high levels. Dialogue in particular struck us as being muddy and incoherent. To some extent, these are forgivable sins, especially at this friendly price point, but you'll have to decide if you're ready to make the sacrifice. Number 2. ZVOX Sound Bass 440. If you want crystal clear vocals, the ZVOX Sound Bass 440 has a feature that will make your day, AccuVoice. The feature lets you boost dialogue and human voice levels, separating them from loud soundtracks and the usual Hollywood barrage of movie follies, such as explosions, car chases, and so on. ZVOX have managed to develop six user-selectable AccuVoice modes, and the feature is a wonder. No sound bass, not even the pricey Sonos Play bass, can pull this off. You also get ZVOX's Phase K processing, which is essentially a digital surround simulation codec. Physical connectivity is fairly standard here, but apart from the usual RCA and digital inputs, there's no HDMI or Bluetooth, which may be problematic. And when choosing various AccuVoice modes you might notice a hollowing of the lower mids, an issue which may affect the bass content too. In our opinion, there are better sound basses at this price point for overall sound quality. Number 1. Sonos Play Bass Sonos trademark futuristic designs are always matched by audio quality, so it's no surprise that their play bass has caused a bit of a stir. Spoiler, it's really good. A lot of that is to do with how Sonos make it easy to operate, physical controls are minimal, with almost everything controlled via the Sonos app. You can adjust every audio setting, and if you add additional Sonos speakers, the app can control individual speaker volumes and even stream different content to different speakers, perfect if you have a multi-room setup. The minimalist, sleek and very sturdily built bass comes in black and white, and can handle TVs with substantial weights, up to 77 pounds. There's a simple optical only connection to the TV and the audio is really impressive, with have 10 self-powered internal drives plus a sub, and the wireless magic goes further with the company's TruePlay speaker tuning algorithm. Check out the description for more information in latest price.